some people mistakenly take the euphoria, the joy, the sense of ah, eureka, the feeling that uh, <coughs> somehow comes when we first hear you are not the body mind, and they think ah, this is it, this is it. I feel such immense joy, such immense space that this is the enlightenment experience itself. Mm. And yet this passes also, you see. And they fall into sadness. They say, oh, you know, I was there and it, I lost it, you see. Mm. But the recognition of that which is, that which is, is, it is not change, it's there. But the tendency to identify, to again pick up the old association, the whole uh, self-image again returns, and we again fall for it. You see, right. that is. So this is the where the, the idea of effort comes. Effort must be there somehow. Effort is also an aspect of grace, also an aspect of consciousness, is manifesting as effort when the self is ready to recognize itself. Initially, some effort, the the self will prepare the mind. With the, the correct effort and what is this effort to not go with the mind flow to not let the attention go with the the thought stream when they come I don't want to leave this as theoretical you know it has to be practical so it is said that this practice you may say of Retaining the attention you see, in the weakness is important in the beginning. And gradually, this retention, this arresting of the attention from flowing outward and keeping it heartward or present as the awareness itself, gradually becomes the attention becomes habituated to staying inside the heart center. And like this, eventually, all effort, the effort to stay then itself falls away. So the attention and the self are united. And that is the, the, the purest sadhana that I can speak about. You see? To, to avoid this and to say, yeah, but practice itself is an idea. Who For whom is the practice? Yeah, this is a legitimate question. For who, who practices? You see? This question will come again and again. For whom is the practice? Because something wants to practice, naturally. Then if the question arises for whom, who will be the practicer, you see? Then you may call, even this can be called a practice, but who is practicing it? What I'm really keen to not do here is to turn this into a kind of psychological game, hmm. a kind of cleverness game. For one who is really, I would say, fit, worthy, and I'm using the word not worthy, hmm. no, is the one who will look at this and take this question seriously, you know. Who is it that forgets? Who is it that must make an effort to be the self? Who is it that must find out? And not just leave this as a clever question, but really invite the question inwardly. Let it totally happen. And to witness what is revealed through this authentic questioning. This for me is worthwhile. Uh, questing. So that takes care of what I would use the word effort. Yeah, effort in the beginning, effortlessness in the end.